All right, Mike, thank you so much. This week's Health in a Handbasket, we welcome Joy Valvano, a clinical diabetes educator with uh, Rochester Regional Health and uh, representing the American Diabetes Association. Kind of seems appropriate that we'd be talking about apples today. It yep. is that time of year. Apple season. And, and in terms of managing our diabetes, how do apples play a role? How can they play a role? You know, apples are an amazing fruit. It really is true that an apple a day does keep the doctor away. But in terms of diabetes management, one of the uh, flavonoids in apples is pectin. And pectin is, the research shows, helps uh, manage blood sugars. Hmm. So there are some studies that show three servings of fruit a day, uh, apples, uh, especially apples, berries, grapes as well, can uh, reduce um, risk of type 2 diabetes by 7%, wow. which is pretty amazing. We also know that pectin is effective in helping to lower cholesterol. Mm. And um, there's one study that shows two apples a day can reduce cholesterol by as much as 16%. Wow. So, so it's, it's not just for amazing. folks with diabetes, but no, for, for every, all of us. Yeah, I mean, there is um, also uh, quercetin in apples, which has been known to lower uh, the risk of Alzheimer's disease. Hmm. There's boron, which can help with uh, building bone strength. Yeah. And apples are also linked to reduced um, risk of asthma and a variety of cancers. So there is a the lot goes of on. research. Yes, it shows that apples are really good. And of course, we know they're high in fiber. Mm -hmm. And again, the pectin also helps keep the digestive tract healthy. So a lot of good benefits. I, I have had my eye on this since you got yes. here. So yes. maybe we should start there. Sure, that's an apple bake. And what, what's really nice about this recipe is that it's very easy, very few ingredients. There's no added fat. So it's kind of like an apple crisps. It's just apples, oats, a little bit of uh, brown sugar, huh. um, cinnamon, nutmeg, and that's about it. It's delicious. So, so the difference would be the sugar. I mean, you normally in an apple crisp or something, you'd probably throw a lot of sugar. A in lot it. of sugar yeah. and a lot of fat, butter, right. or oh, yeah. stuff to help oh, yeah, that. you know keep it moist. Okay. <laughs> um, the other thing I brought is a, a peanut butter spread. For, that you can dip your apples in, but what's um, nice about this dip is that the peanut butter is mixed with beans, really? white beans, so it reduces the fat, but also adds some fiber, adds some additional I gotta, protein. I gotta try that. Yeah, so it's now. a really nice dip, and there's a little bit of agave syrup in there to give it uh, a little bit of what agave syrup, okay. which uh -huh. gives it a little sweetness. Um, and in both of mm. these recipes, you could probably cut the sugar with a little bit of. Um, a sugar sub or even reduce them. What I sometimes do with the apple bake is replace some of the sugar with applesauce to make it a more natural sugar. That peanut butter is spectacular. Isn't that, nice? Remember that peanut spread. Yeah, that's yeah. really, it doesn't taste, it tastes peanut buttery to me. Yeah, I don't, don't, taste any don't bean. really taste the beans too no, much. And no. again, that would be nice on a sandwich or as a way to reduce some of the fat and peanut butter. I love that. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. saw a thing the other day where the apples are the most commonly eaten, consumed fruit by children. Which mm -hmm. I'm guessing has a lot to do with the convenience of it. It's so easy that's to right. put a banana in a in a bag and send it along for lunch. But that's, right. that's a good thing. That's right. That's right. And you know there is some uh, uh, the thing about apples is that they are often a lot of pesticides um, when they're grown. So. Um, organic is a good idea, no pesticides, or if you get the regular apples, because we Squash all love them. to go apple picking. Yeah, I mean, soaking them in a solution of 10% uh, vinegar, 90% water um, will help remove well, some of those know. pesticides. Joy, thanks mm -hmm. so much for being with us sure. today. That's a good stuff, and the, the recipes, we'll put them online, and, and that's okay. I love that spread. That's great. Coming up, Hannah is playing soccer with the Rhinos this morning. Yeah, their season is not over. We'll explain what their next big challenge will be.